Welcome to another edition of Rams Roundup. Matt Morrow joined alongside Fordham head basketball coach Jeff Neubauer. Jeff, 8-1, and one, nine-game homestand almost coming to an end. You've got Maine coming up this weekend, but you've got a bit of time off after the Coppin State victory back on Sunday. Let's take a little bit of a look back at that game first before we talk about this week. What impressed you most about your team's blowout win? We did get better in two aspects of transition. Number one, transition defense. So Coppin State is usually a terrific transition scoring team, and we did limit that. The other thing we did is we scored in transition. So I really thought that's what allowed us to break the game open. We had steals that led the baskets, and that really does make everything easier. The margin of victory for this team had been so high leading up to the LIU Brooklyn contest that went to overtime. Was it nice not to have to sweat it out again in the second half after that overtime matchup? Well, it's not about the score to me. It's about us playing great basketball. And so I do think that for very long portions of that Coppin game, we did play really good basketball. So we're still improving. There's so much that we have to do better. However, I did really like our effort and some of the things we did at both ends of the court. Which guys impressed you with their effort on both sides of the court on Sunday against the Eagles? Well, I think our effort's been consistent throughout our roster, and that's what we're asking for. We, we can't have just one or two guys give amazing effort. It's got to be everyone that's on the court. Uh, that's our challenge going forward. We need more guys to contribute. We need more guys off the bench playing lengthy minutes and uh, doing it with amazing effort. Talked about it a little bit in post game after the win over Coppin State, but how fun was it to see guys like Massimino and Downing and Tom Sanchez out at the end of the game and Tom hitting that three before the buzzer and the crowd going as loud as they have all season? Yeah. Well, those guys deserve a chance to play, and what I mean by that is they come to work every day. They're part of our scout team in practice, so they get a lot of reps in practice. When they get rewarded with a minute or two in a game, it means a lot to the entire team. And then for Tom to hit that shot, that doesn't just mean a lot to Tom Sanchez. It means a lot to our whole program. So moving on to this week, you had a bit of time. You had the two days where you didn't really have to prep for Maine and then an off day Wednesday. How did those two days of practice Monday and Tuesday go for you guys? I thought they were good, and we were just able to focus on some things that don't necessarily apply to the main game, but they're going to make us a better team in the long run. Um, the main challenge, you know, which is where we are right now, we've got to do a terrific job of guarding the ball. Uh, they really do try to drive it. They put their head down and they go. Transition defense, again, as we talk about every time, is very important because Maine likes to run on both makes and misses. Kind of a theme we're going to have to ask you about all season long throughout this week. Is there anything new that you've learned about your team? Yeah, good question. Uh, you know, I think we're learning more about each individual player and how they can help this team. And that's my job as a coach. I've got to find roles for everyone. How can each guy help us be better? Um, so we're learning about each individual every day. Fordham head basketball coach Jeff Neubauer. The Rams taking on Maine this weekend, looking to go perfect on a nine-game homestand. Now pleased to be joined on Rams Roundup with junior guard John Severe. John, this has been a really successful year for not just you, but for the program in general in the first year of your new head coach, Jeff Neubauer. Throughout the offseason and coming into this season, because we haven't had you yet on Rams Roundup, what, how has the progression been for you and the staff and just the chemistry of the team and the guys coming into having so much success early on? Well, since day one, like first time we met Coach, first we had a practice first day. and We came to the gym, got some shots up, working on skill. And ever since that day, we've been in the gym working on, working on craft and defense. And since the summertime, I was here for the whole summer, and all we did was defense, making shots, and that's what Coach tells like, we can't win without playing defense. So defense is like a big thing for us and knowing how to like play together and the shots, we made a lot of shots, but all we do is shoot. So just little stuff make us get better. The team is 8-1 and one and you could go perfect on this nine-game homestand. And although you're putting up points, it seems like defense really is the backbone of you guys. It's all you guys talk about in terms of philosophy. How quickly did you personally and the rest of the guys buy into that defense first mentality? Yeah, it's, 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 um, since the, the first day of practice, like, hey, like, and in and, and the summertime, we, we, we know how the details, like what we have to do. And then we put it all together in the first day of practice, so it, made, it got easier. And then the, the defense became fun. And then when it became fun, the offense was easier. We got we get steals, layups, and everything just came falling in place. Is that the biggest difference for you this year? You've had, obviously, plenty of success coming here, but also your ups and downs over your Fordham career, but you're off to such a great start in your junior season. Is the biggest difference that it's just fun right now to be a Ram? Yeah, it's fun. I mean... Like nobody ever could say defense fun. Saying coach made us make it made us make defense fun. So it's just it's just fun. That when we're going to come, we want to be happy and have fun on the court. 
and it's just been fun. It's just winning and making it more funnier than everything. So everything is just enjoyable right now. How has that affected your play on the other side of the court on offense for you personally? Because it seems like since you've been let loose like some other guys and just been free to run the court, it seems like you've been very comfortable in your offensive ability so far this season. Yeah, just make my life easier because we get still to get wide on layups and open shots and defense on offense. When you do that, it's, it's a little easier. Then you, you don't have to – the two points that you could have to take a tough two to an easy still make it easier for you. Other than committing to defense and obviously learning – to play under a new staff. What was something on your mind coming into the season that you thought you had to work on to improve as a player? Just my consistency, like, just keep going, keep my motor going. Like, definitely practice was the first thing. Just, like, every day get improving in practice. That's my mindset, just getting better every day. So when I get better, we all get better. And every individual get better, the whole team get better. So just getting better, that's the mindset. The last two games against LIU Brooklyn and Coppin State, you put up 26 and 16. And what coaches said about you is even though you're putting up the points the last couple of games, he doesn't care how much you score. It's about your all-around game. Is that your mindset at this time as well, that it doesn't matter if you put up 26, if you're doing the other little things, then you'll be happy with your performance? Yep. Um, like I said before, like Coach told me we got a meet, and he gave, told me three things, the value of the ball, um, play defense, and make open shots. And when I put that in my mindset, it make my, my, my job easier. I uh, take some tough shots and oh, again, yeah, just make the open shot and make my life easier. You guys have had a little bit of time off between the Coppin State and Maine game coming up here on Saturday. What, what is that week of practice like when you don't have that midweek game? You have to look back all the way to the previous weekend to look at your last game performance. You have an off day in between. What, what is that like for the players going through that week of practice? It's just a mindset. Like we worry about us. So Maine, we play Maine, but we worry about us getting better. So we get better, and then we, we, scout, for, we scout for Maine two, two days in a row, we, two days before the game, and then the majority is our defense. So whatever, whatever they put on the court, we just got to play our defense and make, us, make it easy for us. Even though you say that consistency is what you came into the season wanting to improve on, is there something else that you feel like moving forward you still want to work on, or is it the same message from the start everything, of the year? Like, I just want to get better at everything I do, making shots, playing defense, just – Everything, everything. I got a lot of improvement to, to do in my system, so I'm trying to get better. Lastly, what would it mean for the program and for you guys as players to go perfect on a nine-game homestand in the non-conference schedule based on all the struggles the previous years playing at home? It's just great, definitely for the seniors. Like, like a lot of we talk about, like, oh, we, they never had a, a, a two-games winning streak in, like, in their four years, and that's kind of hard. So I, I experienced it two years, so now I'm just trying to, like, just I came here to win and then change the program, so I now have success now. So I, I see my junior year, and I have another year, so just trying to change the program around. John, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes here on Rams Roundup. Thank you. The Rams are still perfect at home here at the Rose Hill Gym. They finish up a nine-game homestand against Maine on Saturday. If you can't make it out to the Bronx, you can check it out online at the A-10 Digital Network, just like every home Fordham Rams game this season. And you can listen to every game online at WFUVsports.org and on the FM dial at 90.7. The Rams then move on on Tuesday to the A-10 ACC Challenge in Brooklyn at Barclays Center. They take on Boston College at 3.30 on Tuesday. That's going to do it for this edition of Rams Roundup. A big thanks to Fordham basketball head coach Jeff Neubauer and junior guard John Severe. For WFUV Sports, I'm Matt Morrow. Happy holidays, everybody.